instant find. A random player. Random. Okay. I don't know what to do against that. Yeah. I guess I need the probe scout. Mm, yeah. Or or a peon. Either one works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You can you can peon scout. Uh, you can also open with something that harasses. So there's uh, there's two things you can do. Three things. You can open fires here, thinking maybe he's human. You can open blade with voodoo launch like that okay. orc guy did against you or you can peel on scout blade and uh, uh creep so it's whatever right yeah. so since you made a rax we're gonna do the peon scout it means your altar peon don't cancel altar your altar peon will <laughs> <laughs> scout thanks <laughs> yeah, no problem i got you wrong. dude i was always afraid this would happen to me in the tournament but it never did but it happened like twice in ladder yeah yeah and it's actually kind of malicious because cancelling peons from Great Hall is in the same location as cancelling uh, Burrow or Altar. Yeah. So, like, you're conditioned even to look at that place as a cancel. Do I get a shop now or no? Um, yeah, uh, we'll do a shop now. Yeah, like here. Uh, so now, uh, in this in this situation, most likely in our minds, because this is an early shop, we are getting only the Ogre Warrior from the camp. Here. Yeah, only the Ogre Warrior, because that's the timing lineup with our shop finishing. Okay. If we wanted to get more than the Ogre Warrior, we would delay our shop so that we get another return of Lumber first. Okay. Uh, we're also going to max out to 21, because we have a potentially losing uh, Scout Peon. Uh, Grunt can also be sent to his side of the map. It doesn't need to come creep. I right, start uh, hitting wisps or something. Send Grunt oh. to his side. Send Grunt to his side. Yeah, he's out on the Merc camp. Go take a look. What beyond? Oh, the Merc camp. Yeah. This, oh, sorry, the orange camp on the right. Yeah. We finish this. We get items. Immolation, okay, leave. That's enough. That's enough info. Keep Grunt near so he doesn't take another camp. You're gonna take... You're gonna take Circlet. And then creep green camps on his side of the map. While checking out where he is with Grunt. Do you have Burrow coming yet? Oh, <gasps> It's okay, it's not a big deal. Uh, wait two seconds for Circlet. Check if he's doing green camp. Go to his left green camp. The one, one, one? the one, one, two, three. This one is one, one, two, three. Take the blue one. Check where his demon is with Grunt. Okay, he did this. This is what we should have known that he's taking this. Now he's probably doing top green camp. Okay, that's a bad place to build it because you're blocking a primary totem location. We want it, but we don't want to build it there. Just finish the camp, finish the camp. Keep running with the Grunt. We're buying time. Make another burrow. Awful location, but um, at least not blocking totem location. Uh, keep the grunt on him. Heal yourself. All right, uh, send it back. Send it back. So he's doing the green spot. Um, Do I heal this idiot? Yeah, heal the grunt and stay kind of near. So he's most likely going to creep his natural next, but we don't know. Put Grunt in the middle to know if he's leaving his base and going to your base. Yeah, there. And keep Blade around here. Crystal Ball his expo now. Stay near. We want to creep jack his expo. Yeah, there he is. Leaf. Just keep running. Keep running. Keep running. with. Uh, don't show with your blade. Click his items. We want to know what he has. Okay, invul. Go creep his, uh, his expo. Don't creep his expo, he's coming. Send the other grunt around to meet your blade. If he does not go to his expo, you will creep it. Check where he goes with this grunt. He might be in the shop, he might be in the shop. Okay, we don't know. Okay, creep his thing. Uh, we lost sight of him, this is bad. Kill the priest first and the ogre mage. 
If we knew where he was, we would have been able to make better decision. Uh, Bestiary in front. Send the peon to your natural. We want to know if he's done it. You have a crystal ball. You can check places. All right, this is fine. Uh, go home. With everything? Yeah, with everything. Try to Brody block him not to get your totem. One in each, Burrow. All right, he got it. He's got it. Make a totem. Yeah, exactly. Start repairing. Yeah, just put everything inside and focus his uh, Huntress over Demon. Okay, hex the Huntress. Careful, your peon is dying. You didn't click into the burrow. No. Oh, you did. Okay, go. Hex him again. Hex him. Hex him. With speed scroll, maybe you kill him. Speed scroll and shadow. Clarity. Empty your burrows. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. All right. I forgot about that part. One more hex. One more hex. Oh, I don't care about. Get him. Hex. Windfalk. Uh, you, you lost him. Creep, creep, go creep, go creep, go creep. Go creep, go creep. Ignore him? No, don't ignore him, but not your shadow. Oh, okay. You need to get level two. You can repair. Press the P on inside, auto repair. Okay. Make walker, make bestiary. Bring more peons, bring more peons. That one too. War mill, totem. Go expand. But I can't even afford the Go expand, totem. go expand. Make another peon, two if you must. Bring a uh, shadow to shop, get stuff. Clarity, heal soft, heal soft, speed scroll. Use clarity. Crystal ball, his main. He's going for bears. Make uh, uh, creep from the top so that you don't block. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Make it, make it, make it. Okay. Okay. Save up lumber for bestiary. Now you know the rest, right? Walkers and uh, Kodos. Yep. Optimize your peon mining locations. Your burrows actually cost you lumber because they blocked a bit. But uh, it's okay. You almost have enough for bestiary. Heal solve. He's here, he's here. Keep your grunts away. You should fight him though. You, you don't want to let him cancel. Raider and snare. Yeah, fight him. Fight him. He doesn't have master training. Kill kill bears. Those are fake. There's only one real one. Cancel cancel main. Cancel 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 cancel. Kill the bear with speed scroll and or hex or focus archers. Make totem. Kodo. You can hit the uh, archers. You can steal mana from Demon. You can hex him. It's game, no? Yeah, it's game. <sighs> Stressful? Yeah, this is the first game I played like this. With like the grunts checking and stuff. I don't do this at all. Mm. Can you watch it? Watch it? Yeah. The replay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, are you seeing this? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, there's a there's a couple of notes that I couldn't really get into during the game. Uh, there's two ways to to do this. One is just grunt scout, and one is uh, peon scout. Mm -hmm. um, we could have brought grunt for uh, creeping. Or we could scout with the grunt and skip the whole peon scout thing. 
This is in case of random, right? Well, yeah, I, I guess I think it is a good idea to peon scout against random. Uh, technically now the peon could go home and start mining lumber to build up extra lumber buffer. And then we only use the grunt for information. Maybe it was too many moving parts for you. No, that's fine. Uh, so th let's say the peon goes home. Once you confirm where he is, because technically you could lose sight of where he is. Now you know where he is. Technically, what, what you would want to do here is you confirm he has immolation. You see how well he's creeping it. And you check what, what item What does that is. mean? How well he's creeping it? This cap can be done taking almost no damage at all. Okay. For Night Elf at the higher level. He did level. not do that. Yeah, he did not. So what this means is his moon walls are going to be emptier than usual. And that is just a note for the future that if it comes to a sparring match where you're both hitting each other, you know his moon wells are going to be emptier than usual because he crept this poorly. And that may be important later or it may not make a difference because elf OP moon wells will be full again. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, is, it is nice to know if potion of invulnerability or not. And it was on the ground, but you didn't click it. Try to click yeah. it. Okay. Okay. So here, double solve. You didn't necessarily need to heal solve yet. Uh, technically, you could have taken this creep and find the slippers or a gauntlet, which would be the best. Uh, but mantle is also very good. And cloak has purposes as well. Okay. Right, so, uh, so you could have taken this uh, guy and then you save one heal solve. Because okay. essentially, heal solve 400, you're only lacking 300. You creep this, you'll be lacking 450. You get a full use of heal solve, provided you spend it the full 45 seconds. So um, in this moment, I would like for you to know whether he goes back and heals or whether he's taking this. So Peon could have done that. However, there is the ensnare risk. So either Peon or Grunt could get attacked. Here, it is fine for you to start hitting Wisps, and I think you did. But no point if he moves. Then you can just stop yeah. because Wisps are faster. Okay. Uh, Blade goes across, you get circlet, you attack this. By this time, we confirm that this camp is missing. So now we're thinking in options. He can come to where you are, or he can go to this camp. He could even heal up full. In fact, I don't think he can heal up full because he took too much damage. If he was full, he could maybe take this camp, though it will be costly, and then he can't heal up full. This is why it's good to know he took damage, because now I've mentally crossed off his natural as a valid creep route. Okay. You, see, you, you can see why once he heals up. If he had clicked the Moonwell, he will be 85% health and 60-70% mana. If he then takes this, he will drop to 5% health, go back, and be barely able to heal up. So the reason I'm asking you to scout with Grunt, because there's two options. He either comes for where you are, or he goes for this camp up here. At this moment, you have a decision. You may not be aware of it. We didn't talk about it. There's certainly no time to talk about it. But you have a decision now. You can either finish up the whole camp, which is XP efficient. Or I can jack the guy. Yeah. And you want to steal his claws. And if you keep your grunt on him, always close, but never away. There's no need for you to look at your blade. This. This is bad. You should instantly turn around. Okay. Yeah, but I walked with my blade instead. I was afraid of him coming here. Yeah, but there's no fear. You have Windwalk. Yeah, I know. I just... Yeah, I'm afraid my blade is low. I see it red in the top left. <laughs> yeah, but now that he goes top, when you see the health he's missing, you know he can't take the natural if you know the creep camp, which is a qualifier yeah. that you may not have yet. Yeah, he should not be able to take the natural. But if he does, you want to be there. And if he takes this, you want to be there as well. And now that you know he went back to his own side of the map, this is basically a good thing because it means our burrows aren't getting cancelled. And we know where he is and we're near and we found a hobby to do near him. So you're currently being valuable. He just spent time not being valuable, chasing a ground yeah. that he cannot get. If they have boots, can they, they can uh, snipe it, no? He couldn't have had boots yet. Oh, it's too early in the day? No, he gets the boots from the shop. He was in his main. Ah, right. We saw him the whole game. First with Peel yeah. and then with Grunt. And so when we're running with Grunt, we make sure not to run like this. Because then he can be like, take the boots and continue to chase much more efficiently. Yeah. So when you're running this grunt away, you would run here and then here. Okay. Never walk past the shop against a hero that is likely to buy want to buy boots. But 
uh, you don't want them to buy boots. So at this moment, you should abandon every creep you have, walk left, because you realize you lost sight of him, but there's only one place he can go. And even if you thought there's two places he can go, you want to cover both. So you take two steps away, start your heels off, wind walk, you walk here, see he's not there, then you start walking here. Or better yet, if your grunt sees him, you can be much more efficient. Right? If your grunt still sees him and is walking here, you can walk away here, heal solve yourself here once the murlocs are gone. Keep walking without wind walk, keep walking without wind walk, keep yeah, walking without wind walk, and then you have yeah. more time. The problem is if you don't check with grunt, you don't know when you should start it. And you also don't know if he has evasion or mana burn. We would prefer not to be mana burned, and we would prefer for him not to know that blade is near. Yeah. So by you finishing this, which is very low value, 20 XP per Murloc, he got 48 XP, 48 XP, and I don't know, however much, 28, whatever. So he got more than you because he has more units. And because of this, any time waste you inflict on him is better for you than for him because he has more yeah. creeping power. So if everything went well, then you would have stolen this and you would have gotten Gloves of Haste instead of him. You would be low and you would be not getting the full use out of a heal self, but that's fine. Okay, so now um, now that I know that he crept that camp and I told you about this, you want to have your grunt here or here. This was actually better. I was thinking here, but this is fine. And the reason I thought here is because he could already be here soon. I didn't know how long it was taking him to creep this. Uh, so if your grunt is here, then you know when he goes onto the map. And if he does not go on the map, then you have a grunt confirmation that his demon is not on the map. And by process, what if he goes to the bottom side, runs around? It's not. Yeah, that's a map knowledge thing. Uh, there's nothing here. This is too hard. This is too hard. This is too far. This is too far. Or at least this one, usually they walk through the middle to get here. So it's kind of a map knowledge thing. Every single camp, too hard, too hard, too hard, too far. And this is potentially valid because by going for this, he's not just maybe taking it for himself, but also taking it away from you. Also maybe creep jacking you here because he still doesn't know where your blade is. He hasn't seen it. Yeah, yeah. He knows one of your grunts isn't around, but you could have double headhunter and take this, maybe. So, um, based on what you know the map offers, there is no chance for him to go anywhere except left to the natural or mid in order to start maybe getting boots, check if you're trying to greet the goblin shop, maybe he's going to go for your small green, this small green, maybe he's going to go for your expo, maybe he's ready to start hiring a hero, probably not. We saw triple moonwell before tech, at least maybe you saw it if you remember yeah, when your peon scouted. So yeah. Triple Moonwell doesn't get fast second hero. So that's cool. That's a cool thing to know. That means that most likely he's not done creeping yet, generally. Because second heroes uh, are a way of expediting pressure. So I'm thinking his best play is a full heal up and then just take his natural because he has not been messed yet with. Yeah. Okay, so I want your grunt here. And then I'm expecting him to show up here. And then... Uh, the longer he's not here, the more likely you are allowed to use one of your wind walks. You've been very thrifty so far. This is not a bad thing, right? Uh, you're allowed to walk in here with a wind walk. So what actually happens? You send your grunt here. You see him. You run away immediately. This is a good thing. And then I told you, creep is natural. This is, um, I will say this is a little... It is cool, but your second grunt is a little late, and it's because your burrow was late. Yeah, yeah. Had your second grunt been earlier, then it would have been here already. And then this would be really cool. So the, the power in early game Warcraft 3 is anytime you're using a few units to find out the movement of the many. There's nothing more valuable than Demon. He will never solo creep with archers. Yeah, it's not possible. You could solo creep this with two or three uh. grunts, by the way. But okay. if you're using three food to know where five food is, which is most likely followed by six plus, which is 11, you've got a three food time occupation on 11. And that means that your five plus three is eight is being productive, whereas his 11 is unproductive and your three is being productive by making him unproductive. Yeah. And so by walking away, okay, now you're thinking he's probably going to get boots. 
Yeah. There's only two things, two reasons, three reasons why he might go here. Four. There's four reasons why he might go here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dust, boots. He wants to creep it? Five reasons. That's it. Five. Okay. And six is right out. <laughs> 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 Seven tops. <laughs> All right. give, give him to me. Dust. Yeah. Boots, boots of speed. Yeah. Staff of telegiggle. Uh, he saw your blade with a wisp and he's coming to defend what's his. He didn't see it. This is number four. He saw your blade. Okay. Right? F um, five, he wants to creep it. Six, he thinks you're creeping it. All uh, right. There's no seven. Yep. But the, the thing I'm thinking mostly is he's going to get boots so that next time your grunt looks at him, he can punish it harder. Yeah. But very big problem is you do not look. You stopped. Yeah. <laughs> ah, he was... Yeah. Oh. Gangster move. He's actually on hold. He's on hold position. Because he should have aggroed on this. Oh, he's smart. And he actually had money all along. He knew you lost sight of him and decided to do a bit of trolling. That was very smart by him, actually. So now your decision making isn't as informed. Because I thought the only way from here, if you didn't see him, is if he went up. But then your grunt went up, connected with your blade, and you didn't see him. And I was like, I don't know. That means he must have got like this, get boots, and then run here. And he'd be here. And then I really don't know what would happen next. But too much time has passed. I decided to order you to kill these creeps. Yeah. And actually, this is a weird play by him. Because as I said, triple Moonwell. His tech isn't done. Had he teched with double Moonwell, it would have been done. So then he gets boots. He has three archers. He buys a circlet. Whatever. He makes a huntress. Kind of whatever. And then he just shoves into your base. Now, if your base layout was good... This shouldn't really do too much. But uh, you didn't know his race, so I'm going to let it pass. This would have been good against human, but he's Night Elf, so it's bad. Yeah. Had uh, you known he's Night Elf, or in the course of this game, you could put one peon to gather trees here, and you could try to body block him here. But this is too big to body block with one peon. Okay. Fair enough. So we get this. He comes in here. So uh, basically... This is forfeit. If he wants, this is forfeit. You can know this now. That means that this peon becomes your new tech building maker. I know you were aware of it sometimes. Just build your totem here. Slip away a peon. Build your bestiary here. Cancel this. One peon per burrow. Don't... Yeah, this is because I asked you to do it. You tried. Immediately want to start our tech. It's also okay to make an extra peon by now because you know you're getting screwed over. You're going to have lumber issues later. You can make it already. Yeah. You show up. Yep. Remember, you have crystal ball. You can deal with archers if you know where they are. Um, this. This is a recurring problem for you right now. And you will continue losing games because of this. Unless it's fixed. His demon is in your base. Yeah. It is a big opening. But you have tools. This huntress is already dead. You need to become more specific with your micro and uh, you're still like mostly moving from space to space you need to start achieving specific goals you've got the tools so in this situation i would put blade shadow in group one and i would immediately re-toggle my grunts to group two you okay. need to do a lot of control group shuffling uh, because it allows you to do more specific micro if everything is in one in order to do a wall off here if his demon starts running up you will press one and then you will right click here. But now certain things stop happening that you liked. Like you like your blade shadow to kill this huntress. Yeah. Um, if you start making new groups, you can have multiple things going at the same time in a fight. So at this moment, we start to understand the need for splitting because we don't want to let the demon get out for free. This is bad. If he does, he might cancel the totem or worse. Finish this off with group one, which is Blade Shadow. Immediately retool this group two. Press group two. Right click here. Gr one grunt here, one grunt here. Press hold. Blade finishes off the Huntress. Shadow walks here. Open the wall for Shadow. Grunt here. Shadow goes in. Grunt goes back here. Shadow comes in. 
moment we can, we look, which are the healthy peons. We are not mining right now. This is bad. Even though the elf is doing a noob move, a lot of elves do this because it's actually worth it. But when I say noob move, I don't mean it's ineffective. I mean, it doesn't require a lot of skill. You turn on emulation, you walk into the base, <laughs> right? But the yeah. value he's getting is income deprivation. He's already yeah. 120 gold ahead of you. And for every second that passes, you're another 10 gold behind. He's yeah. losing something. He's okay with losing a pound total, right? So he was not going to sell this. He was maybe going to use this this game if he falls behind but if he's ahead he'll never use it mm -hmm. he's getting ahead now so when he ends up using this he does lose something he could have sold but technically he's not in any way behind until you force him to use it again when he hasn't got it yeah so uh it is important to not lose too much gold here and so you you look at your burrows click 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 Take the five, go back to gold. This is the most important res restoration we need to do fast. Okay. So instead, you don't right. You don't need this third ground, right? You don't need every ground to kill the huntress. So now yeah. we we let him get away, totally undeserved. Here, what you do? Clarity, speed scroll, and shadow. As you notice, you ran out of mana. Yeah. Uh, also the. Uh, your act of clicking demon was lacking. You're not hitting him now. Now you hit him. Research finished. Speed scroll is kind of early, too early. And then what's this? I think I lost. I thought he was the frog. I think I. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! He teleported. <laughs> I was confused there. <laughs> right, Shadow there needs to keep moving. So uh, everything you right click on the demon. And then shadow needs to be controlled with Move f2s to, to yeah. start moving and if you had clarity you would turn it on right now yeah and then yeah. you'll have more yeah and then this yeah this so you really good. just need to right click in with everything and then manually control your blade shadow that's it you don't need to do fancy things with the grunts just make sure to click him and this is again a control group issue because had your grunts been still in control group two then you would never touch them again, which is what yeah. we want. And then Blades can use Windwalk to bypass the collision of Demon and Grunts, and Shadow can be manually controlled with F2 in order to get ahead of him and then get the Hex out. Yeah, yeah. This is where the Speed Scroll should have been used. Not earlier, yeah. not when you're here and he's here. And had you add Clarity, then you can get another hit. So at this point... <laughs> yeah. At you this point, you said creep. I walked away with everything. With shadow! <laughs> with yeah, shadow. <laughs> shadow come back. Well, I want level three. Okay, this is true in every matchup. Shadow needs level two and needs level three. Okay. If you've got three grunts in the shadow and you are They're not creeping. currently dying, you need to go creep. And it's your blade okay. that's the janitor that cleans up shit. For okay. a while, you needed both. But now you don't yeah. need both anymore. Yeah, yeah. So now the janitor comes in action. Yeah. And we knew he has invul. We clicked him before. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, the peon here. Peon, bring more peons. Yeah, obviously, yeah. at this moment, it's over. Because we have 800, this much. Basically, we are about three minutes behind on tech. No, that's yeah. not true. That's an exaggeration. Two minutes behind on beast theory. Five minutes behind on totem. Uh, this is... Uh, I mean, here you're already quite behind and he had illusions which was cool how do you think i should go about the uh, about learning the maps i think uh, too much of the stuff like it it's all being kind of uh bottlenecked by me not knowing the maps very well like what is the the, the best way to kind of go about it do you have any maps thumbed down no so yeah that's step number one okay just Which to kind of do I use it, randomly or it's to narrow the same amount of maps you're learning at the same yeah. time um so this should have this should have been done i should have given you that tip before you ask a very good question we just want to narrow things down okay i remove shattered exile uh, hell yeah shallow grave um remove shallow grave shit map ice creeps everywhere and snare 
Shattered and Shallow should be down. Yeah, they're down. Mm. I don't know how you feel about Springtime. Uh, I don't love it. Gloom, Gloomstalker, turn it down. It's very non-classic. It's, it's got a lot of weird things about it. Um, and then, so you've got four down now, and you can down one more. Echo is a real good classic map, very easy to learn. So I I have it down yeah, because it. It, I played it 10,000 times and I'm bored of it. But you should keep it up. Yeah. Uh, and then I think you can also... Well, Lost Temple plays out very differently than others. You could turn it off for that reason. Twisted Meadows is also a bit tricky, but it's quite nice for Orc, actually. Um, and I, I know a bit of Twisted Meadows. From before. Yeah. 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 Concealed Lost Hill. Temple, I, I can't remember if that was even in the map pool when I played. Concealed Hill. I think you should turn down Concealed Hill. Okay, instead of Lost Temple? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Concealed Hill, there are not so many creeps. So there's not so many choices. Well, maybe this is a good thing actually for you. We keep it in then. Uh, there are a bunch of tricks. Let me let me show you a couple. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of messed up. If you want to do things the proper way. Oh, I've seen Lin do the, You've seen that the level seven creep there with the hex. Okay, sure. You've seen that. Do you understand the mechanics? Well, not quite. I think the unit gets confused when it comes out of hex. Yeah, and it forgets where it came from. <laughs> but you have to keep hitting it keep hexing and hitting keep hexing it i thought he didn't hex it another time oh no that's true you're right you don't have to keep hexing it you have to keep hitting it with the same unit with the shadow hunter yeah if you hit no it one with, else. with a melee he will turn around get mad and suddenly he'll remember he left the stove on he'll go home <laughs> <laughs> Makes total i was sense. watching this I, and i'd never seen this before like it's so weird it, it, does he always do that the very fat one uh often okay not a guy uh, I, I like that you don't mind like i feel like if i was playing a new rts and someone told me about convoluted mechanics like this i would be a little annoyed that the game requires me to play with such convoluted mechanics <laughs> it's funny no game skill issue yeah i think this is the beauty of it it's uh it, it is very funny, this type of stuff. Yeah, this is a very weird one. I hope I'm doing it right. Look at this! He didn't inner fire! He didn't heal! We are a hacker man! Ah! You used to do this on Echo Isle as well with the Bloodlust man, no? Yep. In the middle, marketplace? Yeah, Ogre Mage wouldn't Bloodlust if you went inside of him. Is this still the case? Yeah, it's still the case, uh, except Echo has had a slight reconfiguration and more of the melee creeps can hit you than before. People don't really go for that Ogre Mage much anymore. They used to drop a fat item too, no? Like a heal, greater heal? Yeah, yeah, that's very good. Yeah. So uh, the way to do it is you kind of stand inside. So if this is the troll, you stand here on his toes. Okay. And then when you're wind walked on his toes, then you hit the ogre mage while a grunt is 300, 400 range away. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid, right? <laughs> Very nice. Okay, that's one. And then on the other side, it's also <laughs> possible to be done. Uh, the grunt is, by the way, not essential to uh, be part of the whole thing. He still won't inner fire, but you're not strong enough to do the camp without a grunt. Yeah. And if you come from afar, he's going to get ensnared. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, the way that ensnare works is that it will ensnare new targets that come within 700 range. It will prioritize those. So even if you've got units on patrol, like this, it's the new unit that newly enters the box of his aggro and snare range that will prioritize getting ensnared. Is it... Can it find units? There's no fog of war for them, right? Correct. So if you know an enemy is creeping here and your grunt walks like this, yeah, the trapper will suddenly see like, Adios, amigos! And he will go around the corner. <laughs> yeah. And he'll be like... I had it in, in all, on a map where all of a sudden the trapper, he, he went all the way around to throw a net at someone. Yeah, wisp. 
I think the way to do it here is standing inside the priest as well. No. Alright, I don't remember how to do it here. But if you watch any Lin or Fly, they'll probably show you how. Okay. So I only remember from the top because I happened to see it yesterday. Um, are creep routes a little bit similar in matchups or more? Not really. Okay. Uh, I would like to watch maybe um, a replay with you. Yes, please. Uh, a pro replay. Mm. Can be against. It can be orc elf. Uh, let me orc check elf. who's the winner. Okay. Mm, this one doesn't have a show winner. Okay, let, let's watch this one. So I'll download this and I'll I'll, I'll show it to you. Oh, I have one more question. If yeah. the demon hunter or blade master gets boots. Then I'm running my grunt home, or I, how? What, what is the the logic there? Yeah, once a demon gets boots, he's going to want to click anything he sees. He will have much greater cast efficiency, and just like kind of tracing him, like I asked for you to do uh, before, is is no longer valid because he will just do too much damage every time your grunt shows up. So against yeah. the boots demon, uh, once you know where he is. You're roughly gonna know what he wants. Oh, never mind. This is not the altar opening. It's useless. Once you know where the demon is, you're gonna know what he wants for the most part. Um, and then, yeah, you kind of. It's kind of hard to say, but like uh, any. Usually when they go boots, they're not doing a massive archer rush because that needs money and boots is money. So he is aiming to do harass damage with boots. Okay. And so you need to make yourself not weak. So you're not going to start a giant camp nearby because he will find you. That's yeah. It. That's the best okay. thing I can say about that. For the rest, it's kind of hard to make hard and fast rules about it. 